The golden rule of habit change. You can't extinguish a bad habit. You can only change it. That is a quote from Charles Duhigg's book, The Power of Habit. G'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's episode at the Hidden Wife Podcast, episode 313. Yoo! Um, what a monumental achievement, hey? 313. Guys, thank you for taking the time out to tune in if it's your first time here at The Hidden Wire. We're all about inspiring other people to live life with greater passion and purpose. And to do that, I believe we all need to discover our why. Use that as the tool to guide us um, in life so we can make better decisions, act more purposefully, and really live a life with greater freedom, fulfillment, and happiness. That's what it's all about for me. That's what I want for myself. So I've created this podcast to inspire other people to do the same as well. I'm heavily addicted to, you know, researching the areas of this top of these topics. And whilst I'm not a expert in one particular niche, I'm sort of a more of an overall lifestyle creator. So, guys, if you are interested in creating a beautiful lifestyle yourself, and perhaps have some questions around how you can do that, what your why is, etc., you can always reach out to me. There is a link at the website under the coaching tab. Um, if you click on that, you can um, just set up a time and we can have a chat. It's a free chat. So take me up on that opportunity if that sounds of interest. Guys, every Friday, I uh, bring to you a book that I've read. I read a book a week or attempt to anyway. And this book is a great book. I think you really enjoy this review. It is The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business by Charles Duhigg. He's a great author and got a bunch of other good books as well out there. Guys, if you do love this episode. If you find some value in it, please do me a favor and just share it with your network so you can share it on Facebook or Twitter. That'd be huge. And also, guys, just a reminder to check out my YouTube channel, THYTV, Lee Martin Lutzi. Um, if you're into video, there's there's a lot of inspirational videos up there as well. I would love for you to uh, check them out if you do get a moment. Not that I want to eat up all your time because your time is used for you know creating awareness and really doing the work that matters to you. Guys, enjoy this review and thank you for taking the time out. You can always reach me at thehiddenwire.com. Reach out to me, ask me any questions. If you've got feedback for the show, I always love hearing from you guys. So thank you again, guys, for taking the time out to tune in to my book reflections. See you at the other end. Bye. Again, The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business by Charles Duhigg. Guys, if you haven't yet read this book or listened to it, you can jump onto thehiddenwide.com using the Amazon link. You can purchase anything through that Amazon link. It helps support the show. Certainly, if you want to pick up this book, then use that link. That'd be great for uh, assisting me here at The Hidden Why. And also, guys, I've got a deal with audible.com. So if you're not yet a member, you can get two free Audible books when you sign up with them. You get to keep the books at the end of the day as well. So really great way to consume really cool content. Guys, this book is such a well-researched read. He's obviously, uh, you know, a very skilled researcher, and he's definitely a skilled writer. He shares so many ins- in- inspiring insights, really, um, that that just help us really understand um, our our behaviors. He is the award-winning reporter of the New York Times, and he's also the author of Smarter, Faster, Better, um, which is a book on productivity. And I must admit that I haven't read or listened to that one yet, but certainly it's on my list to download and have a listen to. After reading this book, I'm, I'm very inspired by his work. He has really, in this book, helped me understand habits, understanding my habits, why they exist, and how I can go about changing them. So it's it's just such a thorough read to really understanding our habits. And it's not so not just beneficial for myself to understand my own habits, but it also helps me understand why others behave the way they do you know it's really good for if you're a leader if you're in a leadership position a position of influence or business um you know you'll find great benefits in in better understanding behaviors and why they exist so uh, have a read of it if you know why you are not getting the desired results uh in what you pursue then understand your behaviors understand your habits and that might give you some clues as to why you're not getting the results you desire he explains that habits are the brain's way of conserving energy, which I found fascinating and it's it's very, very true. Like when we don't have to consciously think about everything we repeatedly do, I mean, just imagine how much energy we save. And if you look at the fact that 95 to 99% of our behaviors every day are done by the subconscious mind, that's incredible um, conservation of our, our, our energy. So we can really use that energy when needed, you know, for more beneficial or, or critical situations. I, I believe this is 
the reason we've evolved for this is based on a instinctual survival benefit. You know, so we, we have that energy in, in times of, of absolute need. So we've evolved with that and certainly that still directs us. So there's there's reasons why habits are there and, and great benefits for having habits. Um, but we've just got to be aware of the good and the bad. So whilst there are many good habits that we do daily, there are also many things that we don't like or perhaps things that we do that aren't bringing us or helping us, assisting us to bring the results that we wish for. This relates to the desire to live or the effectiveness of our business occupation or vocational work that we pursue. So really, you know, if you're wanting greater results in life, if you're wanting greater results in your happiness, in your love life, if you're wanting greater results in your business, your occupation, then look at the things that aren't really getting you there. I mean, what, what, are, your, what are your beliefs and your behaviors that are underlying your, your performance? And how can you go about changing them? You know, you look at a simple behavior like brushing your teeth. It's easy. It's one activity that's healthy. And it certainly requires very little effort. And we've been, you know, it's a behavior that you don't really have to think about much anymore. So it's, it's a good behavior. And it's one that helps us live, um, you know, a healthy life, I guess. A one simple example, you know, of that sort of a behavior. If you think about those bad behaviors, you know, as an ex-smoker myself, I realized um, how very damaging this behavior and addiction was. And it was a hard thing to, to really change and work to change, guys. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm still doing the work or not. I think I've done the work and it's, it's gone. But um, you just never know with, with these certain habits. And certainly as, a, as an ex-smoker, you know, you just unconsciously spark up and you don't even think about it. You become so oblivious to the actual practice itself that it just is habit, and and that's really um, the disastrous thing about smoking and and those bad behaviours that we don't even think about, you know. And again, as a smoker, you, you probably do. You sometimes think about it, and go, oh, geez, this isn't a good thing. But often you don't. You just light up and you just smoke because that's what you do. Um, same with all those habits in our lives, guys. So you really need to figure out a formula to help you win, and and you know figure out a, a formula to help you remove those things that aren't helping you win in life, in business, in whatever you're sort of aiming to achieve. I believe anything that we learn that assists uh, to enhance our lives is priceless. And this book um, will help you do that. Our behaviors create major neural pathways in our brains that are very hard to remove. Actually, they are impossible to remove. But the good news is we can build new ones just because there is a highway that exists. It doesn't mean that you can't create another path. It might take some work, but you know, and then even the journey from from you know uh, creating that new path, from really cutting away the branches and the the thickle and weeds, and and remove going through through it in a forward momentum. It might be hard. It might be uncomfortable. It might be, you know, very displeasing at times. But as time, as you keep cutting that path and keep walking that path, you'll form these super highways, and that's what then eventually replaces those old habits. So it's not really about getting rid of, you know, the habit and and replacing it with another one. It's really simply about creating a new one. And as that new one is becomes a super highway, the other one stops getting used and it becomes overgrown and 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 wasteful. But we can still revert back to that at any time in life. These neural pathways just stay there. Uh, they exist and they never go away. So that's really something to be mindful of. You know, like as a smoker or anything, any bad behaviors that you've had in the past that you've gotten off track with. This is why it's so difficult for us to really to really change our behaviors because once we start cutting that new path and then it becomes difficult, becomes hard and then you just go, oh, you know, I'm just going to go back on the other road because it's just easy, it's there already and that's what you're familiar with and that's where change is difficult. You know, change is a simple decision. It is a moment where you make a decision and then you take a step forward uh, towards that decision. You, you act on that decision. That is when change happens but people often get confused that they, they believe that change is is takes time change doesn't take time it's just the practice that takes time and if we don't give ourselves that time to do the practice then you won't have a real solid change in your life so yeah interesting stuff anyway guys going off on tangents look it is a great book well researched he you know he researches the um and presents stories about the habits of drug addicts of gamblers of murderers um really entertaining stuff he, he talks about you know the hit song hey ya by the the pop group outcast um and how that became popular he it's just really really fun sort of listening and well researched very insightful and it'll just give you stuff to think about in in many aspects of your life 
habits form you know all our behaviors so that is life really that is our reality so think about that guys he has left no stones unturned in this book there is greatness to come from this book know the habits that are taking you towards greatness and know those habits that are not and do the work to change it actually he does um, suggest in this book that the book is not a formula on how to change your habits it's simply a guide it's simply for something for you to become more aware of habits and why they exist and the reason for that is because each of our habits um, in our own lives and, and with uh, among us are all very different. They're very vast and different in shape, size, color, you know, form. And so that reason, not one real necessarily fits them all. It, it takes some, some complex insight and, and formulas to figure out that one habit that you want to change personally. So, you know, he, he, does, he does suggest that it is not a formula. It is simply a guide. However, at the end of the book, he does give out a little bit of a map on how you might be able to, um, you know, change a habit. I'm not going to re uh, rehearse that here. He talks about, you know, no noticing the triggers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think I've written a blog about that in the past. But guys, look, a great book. Pick it up, have a read, uh, download it, have a listen. I think it was about a 10-hour audio listen, so maybe even longer, maybe 16 hours. So a huge book, guys. Either way, but you'll get a lot of gain from it. So it is gold. Have a look. And make sure you leave your comments at thehiddenwhy.com about this book reflection and any of the other shows you listen to as well, guys. I think I've mumbled my, my way through this as well as I could, guys. It is early morning here. I apologize. I hope it's been succinct as possible. And if you do want to reach out to me, guys, please use my email address at thehiddenwhy.com if you've got any questions or feedback for the show. Thank you for tuning in, guys. See you soon. have it again another great episode here at the hidden why podcast i hope you've got some value out of it some inspiration to really go on your journey and live life with greater passion and purpose i would love to hear from you would love to hear your thoughts on this episode and all the episodes for that matter just go to the hiddenwhy.com and leave your comments in the fields there under the show notes tabs guys if you love this show if you are looking for more purpose in your life i'm just about to launch a pilot course it's going to be called the discover your why personal development course. It's a five-week course designed to help you define your life compass. Now, the life compass is made up of your dreams and your passions, your skills, your talents, your desires, your needs, and your core values. So I'll work with you individually and in a group to really define that so you can work more purposefully towards living a life with greater freedom, fulfillment, and happiness. That's what the course is designed to achieve. If that sounds like you, perhaps you're at crossroads at the moment, you're in between careers or looking for that next adventure in life, then maybe it's for you. If you're looking for more meaning in life, perhaps it's something that you want to have a look in. If you're just wondering what your purpose is and, and still feel a little bit lost and confused to what all that means, then it might be for you. Guys, it will be a paid course. It's going to be very affordable for the pilot run. And whilst I'll be giving you some value for these for this pilot course, I'm going to be looking for feedback as well and input from all the members that join so that I can help craft the course and, and better sculpt the course for future attendees. So guys, if that sounds like you, the price will be no more than $200, maybe around the $100 mark, not too sure yet. But at this stage, I'm just looking for people that might be interested to set up a time for a quick chat to see if it is a fit. So if it sounds like you, reach out to me, type in the subject field, discover your why course and your email address and details, and then we'll set up a time to have a chat. My email address to send that to is thehiddenwhyguy at gmail.com. Nice and easy to remember, thehiddenwhyguy at gmail.com. Not for everyone, guys, but if it is, then reach out. would love to chat and, and discuss with you what it's all about, see if it's a fit. Thanks, guys, and I hope you again enjoyed today's episode. I appreciate you tuning in time and time again and appreciate all your feedback. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Peace, passion, purpose. Bye.